In the previous episode, Roken won more than 300 consecutive matches in the Timora Central Arena, achieved first class here. Next, he went to the Hall of Knights to register as a free knight as a stepping stone for his future plans. Episode 98, The Revenge of the SS's Level War God. Roken went to the building with Chinese and Japanese architecture. Now that I'm here, I gotta get the race quest. Since he had already achieved the knight level title proven by the Hall of Knights, he skipped the starting quest. Read Harbin's letter of introduction Harbin sent you. The content is about recommending Roken as a strong warrior who can change the game the Lord. He told me to come help you once I got to the central continent. The old man threw away the letter without care. I don't know about this. I've already got quite a lot of useful knights under me. So, seeing the expression of refusal, he summoned a bag from the inventory. Ah, come to think of it. Mr. Harvin told me to thank you with this for making time, despite your busy schedule. What nonsense. I'm not going to be tempted by something like this. Roken didn't pay attention to the old man's words and opened the bag. Inside the bag light escaped, illuminating the whole room. The old man immediately panicked at the scene before his eyes. Th this is. I figured gold coins would be heavy, so I prepared jewels for you. After seeing that the object in the bag was not a gold coin but a precious gem, his limbs shook. B but this is worth twice or thrice the value of gold coins. Faced with the temptation of gems, no matter who they are, they cannot control themselves. The old man quickly pulled out the bag of gems and put them in his treasury. Come to think of it, I have a mission for you. The system displays the message. Carvin's liking for you has increased drastically. By any chance. Do you know of the legend of the pyramids? He smiled crookly. Yes, I'm aware. Actually, before when he was still an SS's level war god, who had not been harmed by Odin, he came here and stayed for a long time. I heard there are creatures in there that don't trot and are living. Investigate them. Leave it to me. The Lord game notification appears, informing you that you have received a quest from the monarch Never Rotting Creatures. As per the legend of the pyramids in this corn desert, there exist creatures that don't die or rot for a long time. Confirm their existence. Please confirm their existence. Completion reward. Overall decided based on quest progress. According to Roken's thinking, if you want to complete this mission, you don't have to test to complete it. If such creatures are discovered, there will certainly be a battle. Blitzstone is an item needed to complete assigned tasks. But getting the Blitzstone through fighting the bosses in the pyramid at present is too much for him. According to Roken, the lowest level of each monster is 240. Maybe because I bribed him, the quest's difficulty is too high. With the knowledge you have, from level 200 onwards, the difference between each level increases. Even the extra stats given, when you level up, double at 10. Monsters in the pyramid are different from other places. They have special titles and effects when attacking. Not only he is heading towards the pyramid dungeon, there are many players who are heading towards this place in search of their own titles and power. But Roken must prepare carefully before leaving. Return to Timora Central Arena. Roken changed the badge proving soldier level to knight level. If you win, you will gain more competition points. In the Timora Central Arena, when you have a lot of points in hand, you will be able to buy a lot of good equipment. And when competing at the knight level, Many nobles will pay attention. If he wins consecutively and overwhelms his opponents, he will gain fame. After receiving the new badge, he smiled with satisfaction but was different from the previous time when he immediately entered the arena. Would you like to participate in a match right away? And not yet. He refused because when his strength was revealed, it would attract the attention of the nobles who would pursue him and ask him to become their knight. Roken goes to the town hall, where the quest is confirmed, and looks up the monster's information. The front door of the town hall was guarded by two guards, preventing him from getting inside. Who are you? Identify yourself. I'm Roken from the Crossroad Garrison. After being identified by the guards, Roken thought to himself, these soldiers practice to increase their strength. It's scary to look at his muscular body, but inside he's as weak as an ant. Entering the town hall lobby, 
Roken asked the staff who received requests from adventurers. Hello, I want to get some intellectual regarding corrupted monsters. Give me the map. Ah, so it's you. The newcomer who said he'd be here soon. I have it. Here it is. Staff use ancient computers to look up information Roken needs to know. Catch three of them, then I'll give you something good. After the employee gave him the map back, a message appeared to a deeper place. Pick three corrupted monsters, eliminate them, and bring evidence. Completion reward. Promotion to a senior investigative team member. Investigative team bracelet. Ho, oh, this quest already. I must have gotten a lot of extra points for unraveling the source of corruption before. Great. We have a deal. Have a safe journey. With the prior knowledge that he had, Roken carried out the task with speed and ease. Okay, now. Let's use it in full swing, shall we? He went to the teleportation formation in the fourth city. This is considered the pride of Timora. For people in this city, using teleportation magic to get to the desired location requires a huge amount of money, but for Roken, he felt it was worth the money. In the formation, there is a magician who controls the translation so that the coordinates move to where the customer wants. Your destination. Send me to Remington, please. Our Remington, are you serious? That's right. Well, if you say so. Roken stepped onto the magic circle and began to teleport. The magic will activate soon. Your destination is Remington. Remington Territory is a small city with many factories and workshops in operation emitting smoke. Roken came to this territory to use horse transport to reach the suburbs that had no connection to teleportation. Let's get going, shall we? After riding for a while, he arrived at the Linné territory. Here, half of the territory is mountains, but the most valuable thing is a black copper mine. There are many monsters surrounding the mine, so no one goes into the mine. In the Linné territory, there is a castle that is the goal that makes you run all the way here. A guard at the gate saw a stranger entering and immediately raised his vigilance. Oh outsider, what brings you all the way out here? I'm here because I want to be a knight. This guy was startled when he heard Roken say, the level of the guardian of the Linné territory is 181. What? Did you just say you want to be a knight? Please wait here. He immediately ran in to report to the castle owner. Roken thought to himself, is he not level 200 as a guard for the castle that guards the Linné territory? The castle owner ran out with a happy face. You are here to become a knight. The lord of this castle is even worse than me. That's also the reason I chose this lord. The first reason he chose this lord was that the noble setup was quite weak and weak and easy for him to control at will. The second reason is the development potential of this territory. Because the Linné territory is about to be acquired by the Remington territory, when these two territories merge, trade will explode. Through this you can make a lot of profit from the Linné territory. Yes. I want to be a knight of the Rinnal region. Um, let's have a chat inside. Be honest now that we're alone. Our region can't afford someone like you. That's okay. I don't need any allowance. You must have a condition, right? Instead, give me land. Land. I'm not asking for all of it. Just give me the possession rights for a portion of that mountain while I'm your knight. Let's make the contract for one year. Roken thought to himself, for my plan. One year is enough. So you mean you'll form a contract with me like a mercenary? I need time to see if you're someone I can trust and serve as well, don't I? I'm telling you this in advance, but I won't ask you to give me a mine that's important for the region's operation. If a mineral vein is found in that land, I'll return it to you and accept another piece of land. If you don't even want the mining rights, why do you want the land? Just give me all the rights to hunt monsters on that land. So that's what it is, okay. But instead, when you go monster hunting, you have to go with three soldiers. Yes, sir. Understood. Roken thought to himself, an NPC is an NPC after all. You think I'd do this just for monster corpses. I also hope you'll actively put an effort into the region's development as per the orders. Roken thought to himself, of course, I must put an effort in. It's an honor to serve you. I, De Karen von Rinnell appointed Knight Roken as my knight. The message appears. 
You have become a knight of the rental region. In Roken's thoughts, that's because that land is like a golden place that'll soon be mine. Let's wait and see what Roken's brutal plan will be in episode 99.